Hey boys and girls, welcome back to our class. Today you are going to be making a one color design, which I call monochromatic abstract is the art lesson. And mono means one, chromatic is another word for color, and abstract is the way you're gonna make your picture, okay? Which is not the opposite of realistic, which is a photograph the opposite of a photograph and let me show you how you're gonna get started I like to turn on some music I like to play jazz music for the kids here at school you're welcome to put on some jazz music or any other kind of music that you like is fine and what I did is I turned on the music and I and I took my pencil and I was just drawing different lines la 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 as the music was playing and then after that, I got, I chose one color. You're gonna choose one color. I chose blue. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video screen, but my color was blue, okay? So I got blue, then I had white and black, okay? So my only color I'm going to use is blue, but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my blue, I'm gonna add white to it to make a light blue. I'm gonna take my blue, I'm gonna add black paint to it to make a dark blue, okay? And that's what I did. I, I chose different shapes and I started to paint them, okay? I just started painting them blue and I had more lines than you can see here. I painted over some of my lines. So I chose shapes that I saw after I did all the lines. I did a lot of lines and then now I'm, I'm painting shapes in, okay? Then I'm gonna take my, my paintbrush, I'm going to get like a light blue, and then I started adding light blue, and then I added dark blue, and I made all these different designs, you know, uh, which is blue, but then I added white paint, and I added black paint. Now, if you don't have paint at home, that's okay, because what you can do is you can use a blue marker, you can use a blue crayon, a blue coloring pencil, whatever you have to get your different uh, values okay so some people um, some people you like to the color red and they choose red and they do everything with red colors light red pink dark red okay so you need to choose that one color and then after you get your lines drawn then you're gonna start filling in the shapes okay let's look at a couple more examples so this is a blue one also that a kid did and so it's a pretty big piece of paper we were using. Um, you can use a smaller paper, it's fine. And so after, after they painted their shapes, we came back the next day and we put blue paint on top. I sprinkled a little bit of glitter inside of their paint. I don't know if you're able to do that. It works pretty well. Let's see some other ones here. Here was a red one. It's a little harder to see. I can see it pretty good here, but you can see some pink. There's red, some dark red. Here's a, another one that I really like, and you can see the, the, different, the different lines. So it's just blue for this one, dark blue, which is blue paint mixed with black, light blue, which is blue mixed with white, okay? So that's what you're going to do for your, your next art project. When you're done, you can take a picture of it and turn it into Schoology. Have a great day. Thank you for working hard at home. Those kids, I know I haven't seen y'all, but you know, I've been thinking about y'all. So I want y'all to know that, um, you know, we, we care about y'all that are at home and everything, you know, we wish y'all were here too. So you know, one day we'll all be back in, in classroom. So take care.